Loch Lomond, 21 miles long, the most beautiful loch in Scotland. And scattered over this breathtaking loveliness are 30 tiny islands of which only four are inhabited. in Danoon which is in the south of the Argyll and Butte of Scotland and it took me uh, three trains and one ferry to get here from Newcastle and um, set off this morning and I'm here to um, recce three days of the Wild Westy Weekend um, which is a glorious gravel event and I'm bike packing it so I'm doing a loop round Danoon today and then I'm going from Danoon to Aberfoyle tomorrow uh, which includes a, a ferry, ferry trip across Loch Lomond and then on the last day on Thursday I am going to be doing a loop around uh, Aberfoyle, which is meant to be, uh, well, it's renowned for being called Gravel Foil. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that and always, always wanted to ride there, so that'll be fun. And it's meant to be really sunny with the forecast. It looks pretty great, so hopefully the weather improves over the next couple of days because I didn't bring many layers. I've just come down a super nice bit of single track um, at the start of the Danoon stage of the Wild Westy Weekend. It went over a um, big berg and then came down this uh, flowy descent and forestry and land Scotland are currently up there uh, doing a bit of trail maintenance so come the end of May that'll be super nice and flowy and hopefully the, some of the water will have drained. But um, I'm going to take my leg warmers off now, it's, it's kind of uh, the sun's out so first day where I'll be in shorts this year in, in the UK. Um, hopefully more to come and hopefully more of that single track. I was pretty cold in Glasgow. I thought I'd uh, underpack slightly and maybe I could have done with a thermal. But I'm now in just a jersey and shorts. It's absolutely glorious. Lovely to be in Scotland and nice for it to be warm and sunny.
Now just before four o'clock, I spent so much time setting the camera up with a tripod and getting some good footage that uh, I've still got 80k to go. So uh, I might have to push on a little bit and get a little bit less footage in the second half. Um, but the weather's so nice, can't complain too much. on a bit of a road section which I think I kind of need I need to be cracking on if I'm gonna get this recce done before it gets dark I do have my exposure lights with me so I'm not totally um, unable to ride but I'd rather do it in daylight but I've got 65k to go but yeah the, the riding's stunning out here some of the best I think I've ever done I can't believe how friendly that lamb was. Came right up and came for a bit of a cuddle. k away from uh, the finish from Danoon now and it's been an incredible day some really nice single tracks some really nice uh, forestry roads and uh, yeah I think it's up there with some of the, the best riding that I've ever done and I've been to a lot of places day two uh, just leaving the noon now and it's uh, the second day on the Wild Westy weekend with uh, the stage from the noon to Aberfoyle so I'm heading now for 70k on this route and then I have a, a private ferry across Loch Lomond and then it's 50k for the other side of Loch Lomond to, to Aberfoyle so, uh, should be a good one.
my ferry across Loch Lomond is uh, booked for 1.30 and it's currently just after 12 and I've got about 30k to go but two big climbs left before I get down to the shores of Loch Lomond so it might be touch and go whether I get there and uh, maybe I'll not put the camera on the ground again until I get over the other side because when I get over the other side it's only 50k to Aberfoyle and I'll have the rest of the day and considering the, the nights are now uh, pretty late and it's daylight for a long time I'll have all the time in the world to put the camera on the ground and get some nice passing shots but yeah, need to crack on This whole vessel was re. Uh, I know it might not look it, just looks yeah. really clean and flesh. The whole boat was completely stripped and re. All oh, the wood was all handmade and redone. But yeah, we uh, we've got Loch Lomond whiskey and Loch Lomond ale. So Loch Lomond whiskey is the uh, the preferred drink of Captain Haddock from the, the famous adventures of Tintin. So if you ever watch any Tintin movies you'll always see it's Loch Lomond whiskey he drinks so and we've got that on board here so, lots of miniatures as well sun cream um, when I was traveling up Newcastle and uh, as it's really sunny I happened to see someone putting some sun cream on so I asked if I could nick some and they very kindly said yes but they're doing the, the West Highland Way which uh, runs along Loch Lomond here something I'd like to do at some point I've heard it's um, it can be quite technical in places and maybe it's more suited to a mountain bike but that's about 100 miles they're walking it over six days I'd hope to do it in about a day maybe two if I'm filming it but yeah, one for the bucket list The Trossachs are pretty famous from uh, Sir Walter Scott's poem, The Lady in the Lake, and that's why Queen Victoria visited in 1869. After intersecting the West Highland Way at Loch Lomond, I've come along the old um, military road, which is parallel to Loch Arklet um, from the uh, Inversnaid uh, garrison, and then it comes on to uh, Statute Labour Road. The noble stag was pausing now, Upon the mountain's sullen brow, the broad extended far beneath the varied realms of fair Monteith. With anxious eye, the wandered hour, mountain and meadow, moss and mirror, he pondered refuse from his foil by far look out on our much foil. Blood still leaking from the beast here slain. Serpent rose again the head now twain. The arrow almost at the end of the ride, but um I've been just like wiggling my way through a field with all the gate at this farmer or double padlocked so um not sure the route can come through here so um that might need to be changed. But uh yeah a tiring end to the ride. I'm now locked in someone's property. Um, I don't really want to turn back, so I'm going to try and go along the field here and see if I can work my way around. But um, yeah, this route is definitely not usable for the actual other part. Um, yeah, 
before as well to change this. I found a spot where I can jump over. Um, so I just want to get to Aberfoyle now and get some food. I'm pretty hungry. And yeah, get a good night's sleep before the ride tomorrow. I've now finished the glorious gravel route and I'm heading along Lake Menti and uh, just heading towards Aberfoyle to stay in the hotel that I booked tonight. And then uh, one more stage tomorrow before heading to Stirling and then getting the trains back to Newcastle. heading out on the final stage of the Wild West weekend which is the route around Gravel Foil or otherwise known as Aberfoyle. That's a pretty chilly start to the morning but bright sun again, not a cloud in the sky and a bit less elevation on this ride, uh, only 1,500 meters compared to the 3,000 odd that I've been racking up in the last few, the last two rides. So looking forward to getting some good riding around here. And then I'm gonna head off to cycle to the um, train station in Stirling um, so I can get back to Newcastle. Hopefully it's not gonna be such a, a late finish as it has been the last few days. and across the trail which is nice nice to see and um, they're too quick for my camera though so I couldn't couldn't get that out um, I'm now heading into Aberfoyle and then I'm heading out towards Loch Lomond doing a loop um, around in that direction looks a bit lumpy and then a nice downhill back into Aberfoyle uh, to finish off the day I could make two movies out of all the footage that I'm getting from riding away from camera and riding back towards it. Maybe I'll do that, I want it reverse. I'm just reaching the summit of the final big climb of the day and now I'm just gonna descend back towards Aberfoyle and that'll be the finish. Just under a kilometre to Aberfoyle now and then just a road section all the way to the finish or where the finish will be at the end of May. Unfortunately, I've got a ride to Stirling, so it's not quite the finish for me today. 